Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study the two symbols or signs. This one here, which is called plus, and this one here, which is called equals. We're still studying addition. Here, for example, I have one star and then I have three stars. You can think of them as two groups. It's a group of one star and group of three stars and we are adding one and three. We are adding them together, putting them together. And so we read this as one plus three. And this sign is read as equals. It basically means is in total. And now we count how many in total. One, two, three, four. So four goes in this box. Four is the total. Another example. Here I have a group of two and a group of one. So I can write an addition from it. There's two plus one. It means two and one. And then equals, after that I get how many in total? One, two, three. Three in total. So three goes in the box. And I read this one more time. Two plus one equals three. Here I have two hearts, right? So I write two. And then another two hearts. So I write plus two. And then I write equals. And then I write the total. How many in total? One, two, three, four. Four in total. Over here, there's five, right? Then I write plus. I'm going to add. But how many are in here? None. That means zero, right? You remember zero. So I'm adding five plus zero. Then equals. How many in total? Well, total is just five because that doesn't give us any more. Over here, zero again. Zero. And then plus. And then how many here are? Two. Then equals. And how many in total? Can you see? Just two in total. Good job. Over here, none. So it is zero. Over here, none. So it is zero again. Zero plus zero. And that equals how much? A big fat zero. Just nothing. Over here, we need to draw some more into this other group. The addition problem is given. One plus three equals how many in total? But one is here. One triangle. Three. There's none there, so I need to draw. I'll draw three triangles. And now it is done. And now I count how many in total. One, two, three, four. The total is four. Over here, again, two plus two. But I need to draw some more into this empty group. I draw two more. And then I count the total. One, two, three, four. Four in total. If I read the addition, it is two plus two equals four. It is a very well-known addition problem. Over here, we have some diphases. There is one dot here, so I write one. Then plus, and one dot here, one. That's about as easy an addition problem you can have. One plus one equals how much? Yes, it is two. Over here, one, two, three, four. Plus, just one more. Equals how many? Five. Good job. In this problem, we can draw one. I'll draw one something. What would I draw? Oh, Matthew has an idea. Matthew wants to draw. Let's see what Matthew will draw. Okay, come on. Brown first. Okay, you drew some, what are those things? Not done? Okay. What are those things, Matthew? Blueberry cookies. Oh yeah, I should have known. He loves blueberry cookies. One cookie plus two more. One, two, three. Three in total. I'm gonna draw something here. What would I draw? I'll draw clouds. Three clouds in the first group and two clouds in the second group. And how many in total? Three plus two equals five. Try these addition problems yourself. Pause the video. Try if you can solve them without drawing. 
Or maybe you can draw dots in your mind. 3 plus 1. I could draw, to help me, 3 dots and 1 dot. The total is 4 dots. Over here, 5 dots and no dots for 0. The total is 5. Did you get the same? Lastly, look at these two problems. There's something similar, something is same about them. 1 plus 4 equals something. 4 plus 1 equals something. Now if I draw, I will draw 1 here, 4 here, and 4 here, and 1 here. Do you notice something? Either way, my answer will be the same. It will be 5 and 5. Either way, because I have, I have 1 and 4, or 4 and 1. It does not matter in which order I add. Here again, if I have 0 and 2 dots, or 2 dots and 0 dots. Either way, the answer is the same. That makes it easy for those two problems. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.